Stunning videos of aurora boreals or the northern lights have taken over the internet over the last few days. They were witnessed in several regions across U.S., Europe and the northernmost regions of Asia. Did you know that these are lights caused by phenomena linked to the sun? Yes, the sun that's 150 million kilometers away from the Earth. This is interesting phenomena is known as coronal mass ejection. As a result of various changes, the sun's corona can eject charged particles at very high speeds. Geomagnetic storms caused by coronal mass ejections can drag satellites closer to the Earth and alter their path quite just drastically or even burn up satellites. The solar storm seen earlier this week is said to be the most intense in two decades. It caused disruptions in GPS services and in space-based internet services. Some satellites in low orbits Earth have been dragged closer to the Earth. Simply put, the solar, solar storm causes the satellites to lose altitude. Satellites of the Indian Space Agency were also impacted by this solar storm. While their operational capabilities were not affected, the satellites were dragged down by a few hundred meters. According to ISRO, the EOS-07 satellite was dragged down by 600 meters, whereas the Kartosat-2F was dragged down by 180 meters. Overall, several small lightweight satellites placed near to the Earth have lost altitude as a result of the solar storm and lost altitude. For the very latest, our senior correspondent, Siddharth MP, has sent us, sent us this report. Listen to it. Coronal mass ejections from the sun can have a lot of impact on Earth. These particles or coronal mass ejections are high-speed, highly charged particles that are shot out from the sun at speeds of 3,000 kilometers per second. At such speeds, these particles can reach the Earth in less than 24 hours. On their way to Earth, these particles can damage the solar panels and electronics on satellites. They can disrupt satellite communications. They can also ensure that the Earth's atmosphere swells up, becomes denser and drags satellites to a lower altitude and thereby damages satellites in the longer run. We have to remember that once these particles reach Earth's atmosphere and get diverted to Earth's poles, they cause the northern lights and southern lights. It's extremely important to understand coronal mass ejections because these ejections can damage satellites and cause huge financial and operational losses, which is exactly why a lot of space agencies, including India's space agency, ISRO, are launching missions to study the sun, sun's outer layer, and a lot of solar phenomena. ISRO's Aditya L1 is now operational for more than four months in studying the sun in great detail. From Chennai, Siddharth MP, Vion, World is One.